Well, we're way out here on the far trails. Uh, this is a tract of land that um, has some old roads that nobody goes on. No one's been here all winter, I can tell from the traffic and the tracks. It was tough getting back here, a lot of slipping and sliding on the trails, and uh, there's some heavy erosion, so I had to jump across a gap. And uh, there's still some snow on the road, so I want to do a sketch of uh, the remaining snow here on this late March day that still hasn't thawed out yet. This is really a horse trail, which doesn't get ridden on anymore but it does get mowed once per year. I sketched the basic lines of the road with a water-soluble colored pencil and put in the trees. I'm using a limited palette of gouache over an underpainting that's done in casein. You could also use tinted gesso or acrylic gouache. And I can do the same kind of drawing I would do with a pencil with the brush instead defining the edges of the snow. Smooth as digging for chipmunks. And now using that brush to block in the dark areas around the snow. Here I'm using the gouache transparently, that is without any white, because I want this random texture to show up, the area of the dry leaves. I can come in with the white and the opaques later. Now I'm going in with the shadow color of the snow and then a lighter value for the white illuminated areas. I don't cover up the underpainting completely, but let that warm color peek through in between the strokes. I can go back now with the shadow value to define the textures and then define some of the branches, the vines. Sometimes I pound the surface of the painting with the brush using it like a hammer. And sometimes I just delicately touch it like the edge of a butterfly wing. My reason for using such a variety of strokes is not just to create some sort of dashing surface, but truly to try to capture what I'm seeing. Obviously, every detail can't be captured. There's just too much out there in front of me. But I'm trying to represent the character of every area, the area of branches, the area of vines, the area of snow. The snow has a rough granular surface because it's a few days old. And so I use a dry brush with the brush on the side to get that granular texture. You can bring a little more shadow to the foreground. Because this is gouache, I can reactivate a surface that's dry by re-wetting it. And I use that to my advantage by softening some areas of snow. Here I want to wet the brush and load it with some white warmed with yellow ochre. That way I can paint a patch of light on the snow, as if the patch of light is coming high up from a tree. Smooth has given up on digging, and he's just hanging out with me. He knows I'll be a while. And so he sits just listening to the birds and watching the faraway squirrels. Well, the light has changed so much that I gotta wrap it up now. It swung her all the way around. The shadows are covering the part that was lit before. But I got a, a good uh, kind of a 
capture of the basic uh, effect that interested me, which was this area of illuminated snow in the middle of this kind of forlorn trail. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.